Okay, today we're gonna do the reef trigger fish. You need a Sharpie, a piece of paper, and let me share the screen here with one of our little buddies. It's just a screenshot from the internet. Reef trigger fish, super fun. You can see right here this little secret spot. It's a fin that pops up and it has these little spines. And that's why it's called a trigger fish. The spine trigger will hold it and it'll jam itself between two rocks or some coral and, and then a predator can't come and, and grab this guy. He's so anchored because of his little trigger spines. Super cool. Uh, another funny thing about the trigger fish, they have sometimes blue teeth, little four little big blue teeth and then a bunch more. Super cute. A um, uh, really cool thing about the trigger fish also is that it'll take its teeth and it'll munch on some coral for some, let's see, microorganisms or algae and then spit out the stuff he doesn't want. Two analogies to remember from our beautiful trigger fish. One, we struggle not against flesh and blood, that means people aren't our enemies, but instead against spiritual forces of evil. So think of it like this. When there's a spiritual force of greediness or rebellion or contention, those are your enemies, the spirit of contention. Stick out your spine, your trigger spine, and anchor your soul to Jesus and cry out, Jesus, Jesus, help me give, help me honor Help me make peace. And that little trigger spine a prayer, just a quick prayer to Jesus. God, instead of selfishness, the spirit of selfishness, give me a spirit of generosity. You cry out to Jesus and he will anchor you and save you from the enemy. The other fun thing is when you think of how the trigger fish, it's actually Hawaiian for a trigger fish with a snout like a pig. I don't know, but that's what humu humu nuku nuku apua means. And so if you think of him munching away at the coral and spitting out the things he doesn't like, well, think of what makes you selfish or moody or mean. And those things, maybe you can think of them. I won't tell you what maybe those things are. Well, spit them out if they're things that are bad for your mind or your heart or your soul. Spit them out. Okay, so great inspiration. Let's go to our paper. And um, I wonder if it's recording over there. I don't know, maybe I'll stop screen sharing. And go straight to the paper. All right, so what we have here, the Hawaiian trigger fish. Well, first of all, I think we should maybe give him um, that, that funny little lip. So it's gonna be a little bit at this angle. I'll draw one and then you can draw one. I do like an oval here and an oval here, and that'll be his mouth, okay? So his upper lip and his bottom lip. And then his body is gonna be like a diamond shape with soft sides. So I'm gonna start right here on the top of his lip. I'm gonna go up to about right here. I'll draw first and then let you go ahead and go for it. I'm leaving enough room for a tail over here, but there's my little long rainbow. It's gonna be like a diamond shape. And then we'll do the same down here. Little back up here. I'm not gonna close that part. If you already did, that's okay. We'll add a design. And um, I'm also just gonna do a nice little curve out here for this little part of his tail. That's just part of his tail. We'll add more tail in a second. So I'll let, let you get your soft diamond shape. You have two little ovals for lips. And it's almost like an oval that's not closed on this side that you add. Once you have that much, let's add this tail to him. We'll start over here, and he's not fanning his tail out very much right in this picture. It's just gonna be kinda squared off right here, just like that. And then we're gonna do a secret spine. Don't forget, our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the powers and rulers and authorities of this world, the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. We're gonna do two fins. One here, one here. There's actually a spine right here and a spine that pops up right here. And that's what anchors him. 
So remember, the trigger fish is reminding you to anchor to Jesus. If a, if a spirit of rebellion comes, then pray, poke up your little spine and say, Jesus, help me to obey and honor. Or if a spirit of greed comes, say, oh, Jesus, help me to be generous. A funny thing about, I think funny about the trigger fish is that his eye is way up here at the top of his head. You can do that. And then I thought it's kind of like a little bit sideways and across or a little oval inside. I always give a little white bubble. And then you can just don't color in the white bubble, but you can maybe just color in that oval a little bit. How about that? Oh, he has an eye. Ready? Looking good. Okay, one more uh, little fin comes down here. It's shorter than the other one. And a tiny one just hiding right there. It also has a little fin right here, but it's, it's see-through. So in this fish, we don't draw it because you can't actually see it in the photo, but he has one right here that helps him go right and left and uh, backwards. Okay, so here's the eye, here's the lips, and we're just gonna put a dot maybe right here. We're gonna make a line that goes from the middle of his lips to the bottom of this little curve, and one from the top of his lips up here. So, I'm just gonna do it again for my nice, the nice black. Cool, that's gonna be orange inside there for this trigger fish. And we're gonna do some really pretty blue line. One here, it's gonna be like a blue stripe. So I'm giving two lines that go from above his eye down to this little thing. And then one more in the middle, right here, and then one on the other side. So I'm giving like the outside and the inside lines for three stripes. Really cool. God is such a fun artist. After that, we're gonna we got all those lines. My marker's a little bit dried out. I'm gonna um, go right here from this point and do a little bump and straight down. And so this area right here in the picture is white. Next few shapes, we're gonna do a uh, white little lump, kind of like a finger, a fat one, um, a medium one, another medium one, and then a little, a little small one, like that. Kind of like little fingers in there. Okay, there's another really fun design. It's kind of like a rounded rectangle, and I just leave a little white rectangle inside it and color the rest in black because that's going to be black. Let's see, what else am I missing? Oh, there's an orange stripe right up here on the top. Let's do that one. Pretty cool. Now, all the pictures, the teeth are way farther back, but I don't know. It's so funny that it has a big tooth that I just put one in there. <laughs> Kind of reminds me that Hawaiian for homo munukunukuapua is trigger fish with a snout like a pig and he eats like a pig. Oh, another funny thing is they grunt. They <laughs> grunt sometimes. Can you even imagine this funny fish? Oh, wow. Here we have all the shapes we need for the trigger fish and we can color it in. you need? I got crayons. Or if you have paint, ooh, I kind of want to paint it in. Well, um, I think I'll let you guys paint in yours and then we'll meet back up and see what they look like.